Recall that if I had two different logical statements, P and Q, then I could have the conditional between them that said, if P, then Q. And I can do the same idea, not just between two different statements, but between two different predicates. So that's what the idea of a universal conditional is. So we use this notation, P of X, and notice that it's a, a double arrow opposed to a single arrow here. A P of X, which is a predicate, is going to imply a different predicate, Q of X. And what I mean by that is that every time I put in an input, then the predicate becomes a statement. So what I'm saying is for every possible input in my domain, or for every X inside of my domain, then the statement P of X, where I've plugged in a specific value of X, implies the statement Q of X for that same value of X. So in other words, a universal conditional is going to be just like a normal conditional, but where your statements are replaced by predicates, and then the conditional works for every single input value. So let's take a look at this mathematical sentence. This has two different predicates inside of it. First of all, I have, if X is the POTUS, if X is the President of the United States, that's a predicate and I will call it P of X. And then it says that if this is going to be true, then X is a US citizen and I'll write that as a second predicate. So depending on what your X is, some X's, if X has sort of lives in the universe of people, for instance, if I set my domain to be equal to just humans, some of those people are US citizens, some of those people are US presidents. And what this claim is, is that all of the ones that are US presidents, that set of people throughout history, all of those people are US citizens. Note that when I phrase it here as an if then, as a conditional, that the universal part, the for all X in the people part, is just sort of not explicitly written, but it still is there implicitly. When I say if X is gonna be the President of the United States, I am saying for all people that happen to be the President of the United States. So this is sort of the equivalence between these two ideas, saying if, some predicate is going to be true, or in other words, if X has the property of being the President of the United States, is the same thing as saying for all people, or every person who is the President of the United States, they are, those people are then going to become US citizens. Another way to phrase this in sort of natural English that might make the for all or the every more explicit is something like this. Every President of the United States is a US citizen. I haven't put it in my formal if then conditional form, but the every that I have here is the same thing as this for all, right? Every is kind of like a for all. So this is saying every president of the United States is the same thing as if X is the president of the United States is a US citizen, same thing as then X is a US citizen.